All across the country, people gather to celebrate sacrifices and heroism that culminated nearly 70 years ago. For many Americans, today was about reflecting on World War II. Our Tabitha Lipkin spent the day over at the Veterans Museum in Balboa Park and reports on the spirit of 45 Day. <laughs> Spirit of 45 Day became a national day of remembrance when the United States Congress voted unanimously to recognize the day. And I'm just happy to be alive and standing here today. Stuart Headley was a gunner in the United States Navy aboard the USS West Virginia and was in Hawaii when Pearl Harbor was under attack. My battle station was gun pointer and I was in my station at the time the attack took place. I saw the Arizona when she blew up and I saw the Oklahoma when she capsized. Stewart is one of only a handful of World War II veterans left in the United States, coming to the spirit of 45 Day along with other veterans to share their memories with the next generation. The war, it, it, it went rather quickly, you know. The children are going to ask the veterans, where were you on August 14, 1945? And from those answers, they're going to have a first-hand lesson. Keep the spirit of 45 alive is the true motto of the spirit of 45 Day as we honor and remember our World War II veterans. We fight for freedom, protection and freedom. And uh, with that freedom, we have choice. And if we don't have choice, we don't have freedom. Before sharing his incredible journey with other young minds, Stewart decided to share his favorite memory with us. When they announced that there was an unconditional surrender, and the thing that I remember most is the lights went on all over the world. Where we had been in darkened ship for four years, we had all the lights on. And that was a pleasure, believe me. The real pleasure, though, for many is knowing that future generations will now have heard stories from a World War II veteran firsthand. Tabitha Lipkin, San Diego 6 News.